Hey everyone, this is part two of the camera rotation movement uh, tutorial. If you are watching this first, uh, good luck. Uh, you should watch part one. Okay, so part two. Okay, so let's just run it. Uh, S W D A W A S D. And now we want to rotate the camera because you know when you play a first person shooter you rotate with the mouse you look with the mouse wherever your mouse is is where your head looks and your WASD moves you around we use the same concept for this file because we want to be able to move around the world see where our objects are their location and it, it helps us design better uh, it makes it life easier so okay so I only want to rotate the camera when I'm pressing the right mouse key. I'm holding down the right mouse key. So I'm gonna make an if statement. If get raw mouse right state. So we want to know the state. Uh, equals one. And again, one is true, zero is false. So we're holding down the right mouse key. It will be equal to one, and then it will be true. Okay, uh, I like to close my if statements right away. It helps me uh, figure stuff out. Okay, so now we want to get the. Once we have the key press, we want to know what our x value and our y value for um, wherever our mouse is so get uh, let's say my x equals get pointer x and my y let's get pointer y okay so now we have the pointers, we can do an, another if statement within this if statement. <laughs> so we're going to go if uh, my x, so we, we want the camera to uh, rotate left and right. Uh, if my x is greater than, so I'm I'm using a percentage resolution set display aspect percentage resolution so when I use percentage resolution the screen goes from 0 to 100 so I know that the middle of my screen or, or the center of X would be 50 and the center of Y would be 50 now if you're using a different resolution like 1024 by 768 you have to know what the center of 1024 is which is 512 I think and the center of 768 so you gotta know what the center is to do this command but I'm showing you according to percentage resolution which I know the center is 50 so I know the center is 50 I want it to be greater than 50 but I don't want to uh, rotate it at 50 I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna add 15 to it so 50 60 65 if my X is greater than 65 and you can do it however you want um, so if it's greater than 65 I'm gonna go ahead and close this if statement it's just a habit of mine um, let's see if it's greater than 65 I want to move it to the right and to move it to the right we will rotate camera on its local and here's the tricky part we want to rotate it on its local Y even though I'm getting the X value and I'm moving right right and left we want to rotate it on its local Y and I'll explain in just a second. Let me just type this. Uh, integer camera ID is one is the default camera. Uh, float amount, we will just put 10. 
and then we do an else if oops else if my x is less than so 50 is the middle minus 15 would be 40 35 I believe and now we're gonna rotate the opposite way rotate camera on its local Y default camera is one no we're just gonna make a five because 10 might make it move too fast I'm going to save it I'm going to run it I'm going to hit back and now I'm pressing the mouse button and once I get past 65 it rotates to the right and if I go this way oh you know it keeps going to the right and again I messed up right here gotta make this negative 5 and this positive 5 okay so let's do this again we're gonna run it rotate to the right rotates to the left right left all right it's working so let me explain to you why when my mouse goes greater than X because X when you're moving is left and right Y when you're moving is up and down Z is forward and backwards and so I'm gonna explain this real quick to you so I got this Photoshop load this up a little bit so Y is up and down X is left and right but when you rotate the camera if you want it to rotate left or right you use the Y because when you rotate it rotates around the Y pole so think of these as poles and when you go left or right you actually rotate around the pole so that's why you uh, use the Y and if you want to rotate up and down you would use the X and you rotate around the X so you actually rotate around the pole of course if you're moving you move if you're moving left or right you go along the, the X axis or Y axis but when you rotate you rotate around the poles and you don't go along the poles you rotate around and that is why you uh, and that is why when you want to rotate left or right you actually rotate around the Y pole hopefully that makes sense <laughs> so we're gonna um, check the up and down now so we're gonna make another if statement if my uh, y which is up and down is greater than 65 and I am going to close my if statement because it's, it's what I do rotate camera along its let's see so up and down would be along at the X pole and we default cameras one so if it's greater we want to rotate and I could be wrong but it's not a big deal if I'm wrong because we'll just come back and fix it and then else if my y is less than let's see 35 we are going to rotate along its one negative five and always do a lot of testing <laughs> okay so now I got the right mouse button click and if it goes up 
and it did go up. Moves down, it did go down. Now add that with your RASD keys. You can, oops, and I think it's going too fast. So let's do some adjusting. <laughs> it's much too fast. So, but we did have it right. Um, I'm just going to slow it down a lot. Okay, so now we can rotate. We can move, rotate the world we want. Move back, move forward. Oh yeah, so we, we're using the mouse key to rotate when I, only when I press hold on down the right key. And then we can also move around. And this will make your life easier. And you just adjust your parameters to however you want. If two is too fast, you change it. If the movement 10 is too fast, just lower it. So this will really help you uh, uh, in your 3D world. And so thanks for watching.